Hi, this is Nick in 3WG, and in this video we're going to be um, running through Pig Remote out of the box. So this is a fully packaged up Pig Remote here. Um, so I'm going to show you what's inside the box and then walk you through setting it up. Uh, this is basically running through the quick start section of the user guide. So let's open the box up. There's several things in here. This is the actual pig remote. This is the power supply for it. It's 5 volt, 2 amp max power supply. And there's a USB cable here. This is a flat black Cat5 cable. It's uh, 10 feet long. And then there's two stereo audio cables. And there's also a, uh, a micro USB adapter. I'm sorry, micro SD adapter. Uh, if you need to plug the the hard disk from here into your computer. The pig remote looks like this. We have uh, just a power LED on the front. And then on the back we have all the different connections for power, ethernet, this is the uh, terminal to get a shell, and audio out and in, and the serial port for the radio. So I'm gonna pause the video and get everything plugged in and then I'll, I'll walk you through the connections. Okay, I have everything hooked up here, so I'm going to be demoing this with the KX3 transceiver. So this is the serial rig control plugged into the accessory port. And then this is, uh, these two cables are from the, um, the cable packet from Elecraft. So I have one going to headphones and one going to microphone. The headphones goes into the audio in port here. So it's coming out of the radio and into the pig remote. The output audio from the pig remote goes to the microphone. So you can see the, the color codes there. Red goes to the microphone. Green from the headphones goes into the pig remote. I have Ethernet here. This is not the same cable that I just showed you a moment ago. And then this is the KX SER cable from Elecraft. So I'm going to um, turn this on and run through all the software. Okay, I plugged in the power to the pig remote here. That's the 5 volt power supply. You can see the power LED is on. I've turned on the radio. And also, this is the Sierra Radio System Station Controller that is uh, also part of this system. It, uh, if we look at the back of it here, it has power in and out, and then several relays and analog and digital inputs for monitoring. Uh, there's a temperature sensor there, and then that DCM port is to uh, to talk to the rest of the network. And the AC jack, right there, is uh, it can connect to a um, an AC relay. Uh, there's more information on that on the hamstack.com website. Okay, since everything's up and running, the first thing we needed to do is figure out the IP address of the pig remote. Uh, it does have a uh, zero configuration networking daemon installed, uh, so it is possible to talk to it by name uh, without knowing its IP address. But for certain systems that don't have zero configuration capability, uh, this PR Discover app is available to, uh, to discover it. First, let's talk about getting software. So I'm going to open up Safari and go to pignology.net slash pigremote slash sw.html. And this is in the user guide. This is where the uh, all the apps will be installed. So PR Discover is for finding the pig remote. PR Audio is for audio streaming bidirectionally. And then PR Control is for controlling the station controller from CR radio systems. So we have, um, so far, Windows and Mac are all up there. IOS um, is currently under review by Apple, so that'll be there shortly, and then Android as well. Uh, that's not under review, but it should be up shortly. Linux, um, I have it working, but I haven't. Uh, I need to to finalize everything there. So these three apps I have on my desktop here: Discover, Audio, and Control are these three apps. Rig Control um, can be done either via a Pigtail enabled control app such as KX3UI uh, which was written by Pignology or uh, if you're running Windows you can run any um, logging rig control software you want 
and that's all documented in the user guide. So let's open up PR Discover, and you can see that it quickly found it. So this is the IP address of the Pig Remote. Anything I want to do to talk to it, this is how I'm going to get there. And this is local. This application only works when you're on the same network as Pig Remote. This won't work over the internet. Uh, and everything I'm showing you here is all on the local network. There are some caveats to running this over the internet, um, which are discussed in the user guide. So this is the IP that we're going to talk to. So let's go ahead and start up the audio. Uh, there's a discover button here as well. Uh, it's already done and got the same IP address. Let's hit connect. So that audio is coming out of the Mac. Uh, it's from the KX3 to the Pig Remote and then over the network to this computer here. And once again, I ran out of space on my card. I need to get a bigger one. All right, so audio streaming. There. So if I send a message over here. So that's audio coming from the radio to the computer and in the inverse direction, as I'm speaking right now, the microphone on the computer is picking that up and transmitting it to the pig remote and even into the KX3. Uh, so if I had Vox turned on right now, it, it would actually transmit. All right, so audio is running. We can start up our rig control app here. I'm using KX3 UI and there's discovery in here as well. Save and start. Make sure you check the use pigtail button. So I had the baud on the KX3 set wrong. Uh, so there's the, the baud in the pig remote for the serial port uh, is set to 38 kilobaud. The radio was set to 4800. So that's fixed and now we can talk to it. Can change bands and all these other buttons work or send and receive CW or PSK if we're in the right mode. Alright, so that's rig control. Now let's talk about station control. So this application here, PR control, is for the station controller from Sierra Radio Systems open that up and we can discover here as well and connect. Oh, one other thing to mention, the link between the station controller and pig remote is wireless. It's using a XB from Digi um, for the communication on 2 gigahertz. So you might have heard that click there. That was this uh, the large relay in the station controller. I think it's an 8 amp relay. Uh, by default and I believe he has a 20 or 30 amp relay option as well um, so uh, that relay is now on so power is applied to that DC out port and you can see that the light lit up there uh, I can turn on some of these other relays like uh, AC see the light go green light went green and then there's other uh, telemetry items here uh, these analog inputs will measure voltage on those analog pins back there. The uh, forward and reflected RF is um, is from that little box. Uh, I think it's a directional coupler from Elecraft. Uh, he also has a coax relay option. It's not built into the station controller, but it's a, another little box. Um, and you can switch between two different antennas. Oops. And then we have uh, this DC power input, output, and current. This is on the large DC relay that's in there. So that's the quick start. We have discovery, audio, and rig control, as well as everything that's in the box. Um, so hopefully this should help get you started if you happen to grab a pig remote. Um, they're going to Visalia. Uh, they're going to start sales at the Visalia DX convention on Friday of this week. Uh, I believe that's April 19th, 2013. And then following Visalia, um, they should, any orders that are placed 
at shop.pignology.net uh, will ship starting next week. So thanks for watching. Let me know if you have any questions or comments.